And welcome to Lake TV's COMC High School Football Coaches Show. It's brought to you by the great folks at Central Ozarks Medical Center, where your health is their mission. Also, SRG Financial Advisors, our veterinary, Sir Dyke Yamaha, Polylift Boat Lifts, and Rough Water Docks. And you can see we're here at the School of the Osage, home of the Indians, and we've got head coach Shannon Jolly with us, one of the happiest guys going <laughs> these days because you're riding a five-game win streak, Coach. I tell you what, uh, what a turnaround you guys have put together this year. Yeah, I'm not so sure if it's just a turnaround or we kind of caught traction. I think uh, at the beginning of the year, I think we, we had some really bright spots where we played well, but I think, you know, putting the pieces together, the kids – and our coaches have done a good job of maybe catching traction with uh, with the original goal of playing, you know, at this level. Absolutely. You know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of talking with uh, former Mizzou coach Gary Pinkle, where he struggled the first year or two. I said, did you ever doubt? And he said, no, I never did because I knew we had things in place. And as soon as they kicked in, we were going to be fine. Yeah. And, you know, I've learned a lot from Coach Pinkle, actually sitting down visiting with him about what he did at the University of Missouri. And, uh, you know, I referenced Bill Snyder at K-State all the time. Um, I did a lot of reading about his turnaround at Manhattan, Kansas. And really, it, it boils down to consistency and staying true to the path. That, and, and you set those goals and objectives, but just staying on course and not try to put what I call a Band-Aid on, on a large wound. Right, right, absolutely. And so you come off your fifth straight win. You beat uh, Southern Boone the other night. High scoring game. Looked like it was a pretty, uh, pretty good game throughout. Well, yeah, it was a lot closer than probably the football gods intended. I don't know if you've, if you've seen everything, but, you know, uh, Southern Boone had three tipped passes to their benefit and two of them for touchdowns. Really? I think one of them made KRCG play of the week. And, and I'm not saying hats off to them. you got to be in the right spot. But after the first tip pass, we were kind of like, man, this is – and then the second one and then the third one, and to have two of them go for touchdowns was a lot. Um, but, you know, we, we felt like we, we had command, at least, of what we wanted to do. Some of those things were out of our control. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, you don't usually see that, two tip passes for no. touchdowns. But you still win the game, and that says even more for your yeah. team that, that you were good enough to overcome that and, and actually win fairly easily. That was the thing we talked about with the kids. I said, make sure you don't leave thinking that I'm not proud of what you've done in the win. But there's, some, there's, there's always those things within a game you've got to take out and examine it and say, hey, we got to get these fixed before next week. And we talked a lot about this, about coaching past, um, you know, each victory, yeah. about understanding that, you know, when you, when you, when you know you're going to win the game and you've got it in there, not only does your mind go to different areas about how to finish, but also, you know, taking things from that game that you need to work on for the next week. So it's a, it's a tricky, um, you know, it's a, it's a tough path to try to figure out when to start thinking ahead and, and when to take what you've, you know, that you need to work on. Yeah, that's kind of the struggle of being a head coach is putting all those things together. Uh, we had talked early in the season uh, and you'd lost a game mainly because of special teams mm -hmm. and uh, you worked on that, got that turned around and anything. Is there anything right now in particular you would like to work on with your team, get them a little better at? You know, it, it boils down to now position groups. Um, we watched some film uh, this morning about some things that we needed to do uh, specifically with our tight end and our wing play. So it gets a little bit more detailed practice. Um, you take a little bit of the edge off of practice. It may not be as much contact, but a little bit more detail oriented about like, hey, here's what we've seen in the last three games. We need to get this cleaned up because if I'm a coach scouting us and watching it, I look at our deficiencies and these are where we want to attack. So it's kind of counter, you know, you try to counter what you assume that the other coaches are going to be working on on their side of things. Absolutely. Five game win streak for the Osage Indians. Final game of the regular season coming up. We'll talk about that. We'll also look ahead to the playoffs when we come back on the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center is growing in our community with a new dental location to serve you in Eldon and a new location in Lori. COMC also makes your children a priority with a mobile dental unit serving schools in rural areas where access can be a challenge. COMC also offers OBGYN, sports medicine, pediatric, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. 
purchasing a boat is a pretty big investment. And when you purchase a Rough Water Dock, you're protecting that investment for years to come. Rough Water Dock has been your trusted dock builder at the lake for over 30 years, specializing in custom docks that are built to withstand the rough waters of the Lake of the Ozarks. Rough Water is a full-service dock builder offering commercial construction, dock additions, swim docks. They're Ameren certified and fully insured. Rough Water Dock, the peace of mind you want and the protection you need. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offer routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. Our Veterinary, with six convenient locations, the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Welcome back to Lake TV COMC High School Football Coaches Show. The Indians of Osage have won five games in a row. Regular season finale coming this Friday night at home against Versailles coach. Now this Versailles team has struggled this year, but they come off their first win of the season, and I'm guessing they're going to be uh, higher than they have been all season. I would expect so. I think, uh, you know, Coach Seitz has done a great job over there, and, and I think being in that situation, people kind of underestimate you know, his background and his knowledge of the game and, and how he does things. I mean, he's got a, a ter you know, a terrific past if you look yeah. at his resume. So there's no doubt that he has plans. But, um, you know, to be able to make some changes um, for the Versailles Tigers, you know, towards the end of the season and have success doing it is, is uh, you know, speaks volumes for his, his, him and his staff because those are tough things to do. Absolutely, yeah. He's won state championships before at Kansas, starting quarterback at Mizzou, played in the NFL, so he knows what he's doing. Uh, and I'm guessing when, you know, you go into a game like that, you just have to make sure your guys are ready for it. It's not some sort of a trap game. Yeah, and, you know, when I left the press box, I had, like, I think five people come up to me and say, hey, you didn't know Versailles beat Booneville. And as we talked about before, those position group, um, those focuses on those things that we're doing has nothing to do with Versailles right now. It yeah. has everything to do with us. And, I mean, we, we've seen a little bit of everything, how people want to defend us. And, uh, you know, so we, we continue to work on us. And one of the things that we took away from Friday's game is, you know, we, we got, um, you know, the guys have nine guys in the box. Um, we got Southern Boone loading up the box, and we we're still able to run for over 400 yards. Wow. That lets me know that, that our kids believe in what we're doing, and, and those little bitty, uh, those little things that go along with changes in the game are starting to, our kids are understanding. So we, we will have a game plan for Versailles, but at the same time, um, you know, we continue to work on ourselves as much as possible. Absolutely. So the playoffs right around the corner. I think if you win, Friday night, then you get a first round bye in the playoffs, I think, right? Well, we don't know that, but that's, it's a, possibility. that's, that's a possibility. Okay. You did this to me last week. <laughs> And we're gonna we're gonna start here again. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I yes. There, there's a possibility that we could be a two seed and have a buy. And and I think if you probably figured it out somehow, there might be a possibility of us being three seed. So um, we're just gonna we're just gonna get after it this week and see what we do. And then whatever seed we get, as soon as that 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 clock tick zero then we'll know what seed we are and then we'll kind of roll with that do you have a preference would you like to have a week off if you guys get one or would you rather play and just kind of keep the momentum going I'll answer this question because I've slipped up and said it in the past <laughs> if it was up to me I, I wished we I wished we would have ended up being a three seed in our district which you won't hear very many people say that yeah. because then you play a week 10 game and I think our kids have demonstrated that they've gotten better every week that we've played and I think that playing experience regardless of the level of competition um, pays big dividends and so for that um, I, I would rather have a week 10 game if possible I think that fits our team and our staff and what we're doing better than being off one week boy it says so much though after losing the first three games of the year winning five in a row to be in your position is uh, absolutely fantastic so Friday night it is Osage at home against for sales as the Indians look to make it a six game win streak and then we'll see where they go in the playoffs after that coming up next we're going to travel across town go over to Camdenton we'll talk with Lakers head coach Jeff Shore as they look to stay undefeated Friday night while the financial services industry for years has focused on products, pricing, and performance, or things we refer to at SRG as the how, our focus for our clients has always been around their why. And without fail, over all these years, 
those whys, have centered around family, occupation, and recreation. Think legacy issues, retirement, or achieving a work-optional lifestyle, and checking off those important things on that recreational bucket list. Our foundational approach remains a focus on the things that matter most to our clients and the things that together we can control. And where those two things overlap, that's where we live and work every day. That's SRG Financial and the Mile Marker Formula. Polylift Boat Lifts. Boaters everywhere have relied on Polylift Boat Lifts to raise their boat up and out of the water time and time again. Polylift Boat Lifts are made of the finest materials and offer a lifetime warranty on the tanks. Stop by Polylift and see the huge selection of wet steps, water toys, and dock accessories. You can even shop online at polylift.com. Polylift Boat Lifts. You know what they say. We got to build boat lifts. We build polylifts. Welcome back to the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. As you can see, we've made our way over to Camdenton, home of the undefeated Lakers, here on the practice field with the man, the myth, the legend. It's Jeff Shore, head coach. Final season as he's retiring, and man, you're undefeated. Couldn't have written this script better. Yeah, so far so good. That sounds good, doesn't it? Undefeated. Yeah. Uh, no, it's been a really great year. Kids have played really fantastic. Um, I've just loved the energy they've had, um, the unselfishness. So it's just been a super enjoyable season. Absolutely. I think you kind of might have had an idea that this was possible going into the season because I remember our first show of the year I said, what do you feel about this team? And you got, got a smile on your face and you said, I'm feeling pretty good about it. You kind of knew you had something special. Oh yeah, we had a lot of the ingredients, you know, and a lot of uh, a lot of veterans on the team, you know, older guys, we're senior led, um, and just a real quality bunch of guys. So um, you know, anytime you got that, you feel pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, and then on top of that, we've, we've got some speed, we've got some athletes. So, um, you know, I felt like we could really put something together and, uh, and they, they've done it, you know, Potential isn't worth anything unless it's, you know, then you put it together, but they've done a good job of putting it together. Absolutely. So you come off the huge win over Lebanon, uh, the big rivalry, that's nice. You win back the Highway 5 trophy, but the win also wraps up the conference title, and I think it wraps up home field playoff advantage, doesn't it? It does. Big win, like we talked about last week. A lot, a lot of stuff riding on that game. Um, so it was good to get that one, you know, get that one won. It was a fun night. I mean, the kids really embraced it and didn't, you know, there's a lot of pressure on that game, but our, our team's really good at uh, setting that aside and just playing, you know, having a good time playing football and playing really hard. So um, there's a lot of things that we will, we will be at home for the remainder of the district games, you know, if we can keep winning. And uh, so that's, a, that's always a good thing, especially in a year that we've had very few home games. Yeah, well, man. Well, and I tell you, you did it against Lebanon in a way a lot of people didn't figure. I mean, you know, you have the high-flying passing offense but you ran over them on Friday night. And man, I tell you what, that had to feel pretty good. It did, our offensive line did a great job and our receivers block extremely well. So between those two, you know, we expect our receivers on the edge to really block, um, not just catch the ball. And they've really taken that to heart. And uh, they've done a good job since we've been running this offense, you know, through the years, but this year they've really especially taken it to heart. And uh, they did a great job blocking on the edge. And then our offensive line did a fantastic job of really picking up uh, the different things Lebanon was trying to throw at them and uh, really doing a good job there. And, uh, and you know, it's a little something we had, some wrinkles we had set in that we felt like we could do. And uh, our kids really kind of took to it in practice and, and got it understood. And so we were able to throw some things at them that they hadn't seen before. You guys kind of dominated the line both on the offensive and the defensive side. Uh, for the most part, I say dominated. They ran the ball pretty sure. darn well, but you kind of kept them in check. Yeah, you know, we, you and I talked, they're an amazing offense. They're yeah. really, really ter terrific offense. Um, and they, they run it really well. It's the, the flex bone. Flex bone in itself is pretty hard to defend, but that alone, they, they are very experienced and run it really well. So um, they do a really great job. And we talked our defensive line was going to be so important in the game. Yeah. In fact, I've got them steak and baked potato in there today. <laughs> We're going to feed them that because they were the men in the evening, you know. And so. Uh, uh, they did a great job of really staying low and, and keeping those guys off our linebackers. Uh, you know, even at that, like I said, they put up some yards on offense, but uh, we were able to kind of weather the storm with it. What does a win, a huge win in a big, big game like that, so much on the line, what does it do for the players? Does it jack up their confidence a little more? You know, I, I think so. This is kind of an unusual team. They, they've really um, stayed very humble, which I like, and uh, 
like I said, they've really enjoyed playing on Friday night. You know, they don't want to talk their way into a win or, or anything else. They they just want to play football. So, um, you know, we need to keep that that rhythm, that thing going, and I think they will. So, um, it was a big win, definitely uh, good for the conf confidence, but mainly it was just great to play football on a Friday night. Absolutely, okay. And we've got another one this Friday night, Glendale in town, a game you can see on Lake TV uh, as the Lakers go for an undefeated season. So we'll talk about Glendale and we'll take a look at the playoffs a little bit when we come back on the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. At COMC, your health is our mission. Central Ozarks Medical Center is growing in our community with a new dental location to serve you in Eldon and a new location in Lori. COMC also makes your children a priority with a mobile dental unit serving schools in rural areas where access can be a challenge. COMC also offers OBGYN, sports medicine, pediatric, and behavioral health care. Get more info on how COMC can help you at centralozarks.org. COMC, where your health is our mission. Welcome back to the lake, and welcome back, free America. Hi, this is Greg at Surak Yamaha and Osage Beach. Here at Lake of the Ozarks, we wear what we want, we eat what we want, we drink what we want, and we have more fun than we deserve. This place is the ultimate statement of freedom. For 50 years, it has been my job to make sure you have as much fun as I do. Yamaha Wave Runners make that easy. Yamaha Wave Runners last longer, hold their value better, and provide safe family fun better than any watercraft ever made. It's also time to join the Surak Boat Rental Club to enjoy Enjoy up to 50% savings on your rentals. Visit Surdak Yamaha on Osage Beach and let my friendly crew help put you on the lake. Supplies are limited, but your freedom isn't. That's at Surdak Yamaha and Osage Beach. You ride on a reputation. At Gary Surdak. You ride on a reputation. You ride on a reputation. Welcome back to the COMC High School Football Coaches Show. We're here at Camdenton home of the 8-0 undefeated Lakers, who have already won the conference title with uh, still a game to go in the regular season, the finale this Friday night, Coach, against Glendale. This Glendale team is fairly dangerous. They've played some pretty good ball this year. I think you said the word they're dangerous. They're very dangerous. You know, you look at their scores uh, early on. Um, they had West Plains beat and uh, just didn't get it done. A super close ball game. Um, and they played a, a lot of other uh, close games and beat some opponents pretty bad. Um, they're very uh, unpredictable, I guess you'd say. Um, they might onside kick every time. You know, they, they have it. They may, uh, you know, they're going to put it, the ball in the air. They have a really good quarterback in Cole Furbacher. Um, I think Cole's actually leading the state of Missouri in passing right now. Wow. So um, they're very dangerous. Uh, I think that's the word for them, dangerous, yeah. you know, to get hot. And they're, they're kind of a loose cannon, I guess you would say. Um, they're going to play very unconventionally. So, um, we have to be ready. So, you know, we've kind of put that win behind us, the Lebanon win, although it was, it was a great night. Uh, I need to mention the fans. Oh, my gosh, it was oh, a great yeah. crowd. Uh, fantastic. It was an absolute blast. And, uh, you know, we really appreciate that. It was, it was a really fun night. So uh, uh, we just got to, um, you know, like I said, put that behind us and get ready for Glendale. You know what? It seems like I watch you down on the sideline, and it seems like you're one of the few coaches I have ever seen that really is able to enjoy yourself down there. There were a couple of times where I saw you kind of running up the sideline, smiling, laughing, enjoying it. You don't see that from coaches too often. You know, it, I've always been like that, and that's just the way I played too, you know, way back when, a long time ago. So it, I just enjoy the competition. So, um, it, you know, you gotta be who you are. You know, you can't be somebody else. I, I can't try to be somebody different than what I am. So I really like it, you know, it's fun. I enjoy, enjoy it and try to take it in and, and uh, the best I can. It is just a football game, you know. Uh, and uh, we keep it in perspective there. Although we want to win, don't get me wrong. Yep. You know, and it hurts when you lose. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it is a football game, and uh, it's a great thing to uh, be able for these kids to get to be able to do a really, uh, you know, just a great activity. It's a great, really great um, life lesson teacher. You know, we talk about that some, and it's a it's a really great uh, just example for them as they move on into manhood of some things that they can take with them and. Uh, and hopefully apply it to their life. Absolutely. Okay, so we talked a little bit about the playoffs. You'll have home field through the district uh, as far as you go through the district. And then I think, will you have a first round bye or do you know yet? Uh, we will have a first round bye in the district. So um, we're gonna play Glendale this Friday. We will get a first round bye. And it looks like we have the potential to play Glendale again, which yeah. is very odd. Yeah. Um, and then uh, if we can you know, get those two things won, then 
turn around and play Lebanon again for this year's title. So um, it's kind of an unusual couple of weeks ahead of us. Absolutely. And so do you hold anything back knowing that you might have to play Glendale again in the next game? No, same thing. We, uh, I've been asked that question about the Lebanon game. We're going to do everything we could to win it. And uh, kind of like a pitcher in baseball, you know, use your use your ace when you can and yep. then move on. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can come up with some new wrinkles or, or do the do the old wrinkles better, you know. So, uh, no, we won't hold anything back. We'll try to win the game. Yeah. And you can see that game on Lake TV this Friday night. So this is your COMC High School Football Coaches Show brought to you by the great folks at Central Ozarks Medical Center, also by SRG Financial Advisors, Sir Dyke Yamaha, Polylift Boat Lifts, Rough Water Docks.